hello awesome people in one of my previous videos we went through the process of connecting woocommerce to facebook that is installing facebook puzzle on your woocommerce website in a proper way by the way if you haven't done that the link is in the description below to the tutorial so in this video we'll learn how to utilize the installed puzzle to track events such as purchases and so on at the end i'll run a simple conversion ad for demonstration if you are new here make sure you destroy the subscribe button for upcoming videos coming right up after the intro okay so let's start by going to our business manager Click on the menu and then go to Event Manager. So once you are there, on the left hand, make sure the piece that you have installed on your website is being selected. That is if you have more than one pixel. So go to the Settings tab. Then scroll down to advanced matching turn on automatic advanced matching scroll down again to event setup and then also turn on track event automatically without code this is the most important part this is it the next thing to do is to test our events if they are working correctly so go to the test events tab and scroll down to the space enter the website that is the website on which the pizza was installed and then click on open website okay so i'll go through the process of making an order just for the system to pick up the events so first of all i'll click to view a product make sure you go through the whole process by viewing the product you add it to a cart then you view the cart proceed to check out up your details and place the order okay now the order has been placed i'll go back to the events manager to see what has been tracked so now the page has been populated with the event that has been collected from the site so you can see here we have a page view our purchase has been tracked our checkout view content and also we have the add to cart the view content is for product view so you can see we have the product id there which means all our pixels are being tracked correctly so this is how it's done the next thing I'll do is to run a sample conversion ad this is not to show you how to run an ad but to show you how to use the pixel so I'll go to ads manager I'll create a new campaign The objective should be conversion so that we can use the pixel installed.
I will set the budget here and click next. Under conversion, make sure that conversion event location is the website. Then under pixel, make sure the pixel that you you installed on your website is being chosen. I have only one pixel, so it is automatically chosen. And then the conversion event should be purchased, which means our ad will be optimized for purchases. And it will be counted as the result. Set your budget and schedule here. The audience. And then click next like i said earlier on this is not to show you how to run an ad but to demonstrate the use of the pixel so we'll just make sure you fill out the relevant information and then you publish your ad So on the website, I will put in the website here. It should be the website on which the episode is being installed. Then your call to action button will also lead to. Once you are done with your ad, you hit publish. I'm not going to publish this ad. Okay, guys. So this is it. This is how it's done. Thanks for watching. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you.